Hey, what's going on, great gang? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I decided to do yet another rant video. Uh, this one is, once again, about Minecraft, obviously. Uh, but this one's actually about the mob vote. So, obviously, by now, if you're watching this video, you're a fan of Minecraft, and I'm sure that you've seen the uproar that the mob vote is having. Uh, usually, it's people posting all over social media about which mob that should win. Uh, I remember seeing a lot of Moobloom and Isolager when that was when it was that year, uh, as well as some of the other previous candidates, most especially being Glare and Copper Golem. Um, but this year, it's a little bit different. Um, instead of people picking a side and deciding on which mob they should have, we've decided to get a little bit greedy and go for all three. <laughs> and I'm all for it. Uh, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Boycott the Mob Vote movement. Uh, I first saw it on Nightwing's TikTok, and from there it has just erupted. Um, and I'm all for it. I'm all for it, because I I was a firm believer that Moobloom should have won, and I was a firm believer that Copper Golem should have won. Last year's with the Sniffer, Tough Golem, and Rascal, that one was just horrible in general. None of those mobs were useful in any which way. And I think, I think Sniffer was still the best option, but I probably wouldn't have voted for any one of them if there was one that was actually good, like this year. Uh, this year, we have the Crab, which if voted in adds the Crab Claw. And we have the penguin, which increases your boat speed, but that doesn't really do much for endgame once you get elytra. So if any of them are supposed to lose, I would vote on that one losing. Uh, and then armadillo, which adds dog armor. Now personally, if I would vote, I would vote for crab because well, I don't think that the dog armor is going to be as amazing as people think. If I had to bet, it's probably only going to add another hit point to your dog anyway, and then it will die. But I also think that with a lot of us veteran players who have been playing the game for 10 plus years, <laughs> um, we all have a distinct memory of our dog dying in our world. And I feel like that the best way to describe it is that it's a canon event and that's how my friend described it and it's completely accurate every minecraft player seems to go through that where they lose their pet dog in some way or another to a skeleton creeper lava whatever um and after that they never take their pet anywhere in any other world <laughs> and and i think i think that it's funny that we all have that shared experience and i bet you can i bet you that you can think of the dog that i'm talking about i know i can i named that dog what did i name him i named him spots and i don't know why i named him spots because he didn't have spots but i named him spots and this was on the wii u and i was mining for diamonds like we do and yeah Lava flew, or lava started flowing out at me, and my dog died. And I, I remember that so vividly. Like I remember mourning my dog in in Minecraft, as cringe as it sounds. And I remember building a grave for it and like putting a flower there, and like it was like shed a single tear. Like like it's a core memory for me playing this game, and. I feel like, yes, dog armor would be a good addition, but I also don't want to rob new players of that experience because having that very shared experience, I think brought a lot of the Minecraft community closer together. And so I think that if we, if we add in the armadillo, it will ruin that. So if I had to vote, I would vote for Krab. Key words though, if I had to. Because that's the thing. I don't plan on voting, and I don't think anybody should. Like I said, the Boycott the Mob vote has been a huge movement. Here's some pictures. 
um, on screen of some of the amazing pieces of art that have been made. I think this is the funniest thing <laughs> that I've seen in a while, and I absolutely love it. However, what I am going to say is that I don't think we should vote at all. I think if nobody votes, then Mojang has one of three options. Option one, not add any mobs in, which will probably anger them, the community. Right? Option two, pick one at random, which will anger almost all of the community. And option three, add all three. And I don't see why they, they shouldn't add all three. I think all three are very good in their own right. So what I will propose is that if nobody is voting, don't vote. However, if you see somebody vote, Try to tie it up. If we can tie the mob vote, they have to add all three. There's no way they don't. So my course of action, my plan, is obviously to release this video and to tell everybody, if we tie up the mob vote, we just might be able to get all three. And personally, I kind of hope they don't do a mob vote after this, because it's really not... It's not doing good anymore. Like, uh, when they originally added it, and why they added it in the first place, was to get people talking about the update. And I get that, and I understand that, and I respect that. However, I feel like it's not really bringing the community together, and it's more tearing us apart. <laughs> like, especially with, like I said, not last year, but the year before, with Glare, Copper Golem, and LA. I feel like that was the worst. Nobody was happy with it except for the LA people. And I feel like because of it, it's like, it's slowly tearing the community apart. I think a better option would be to come up with general ideas for updates. Like, um, they, they come up with like, oh, the, the end update or like a new biome or What's another biome that's, like, underdeveloped? The desert update. Stuff like that. Excuse me. Where they come up with general ideas, and from there they pitch it to the community. I feel like that would be a little bit better of an idea versus the mob vote. Because, genuinely, the mob vote doesn't even add anything to the game in the first place. Like, <laughs> I feel like nobody uses a lay. I've never used one since it's been added. Not once. And I feel like very few people use Sniffer. I would say builders use Sniffer, but apart from them, I wouldn't say that the normal Minecrafter uses a Sniffer. I wouldn't say that the normal Minecrafter would use... Oh, what was it? I feel like the normal Minecrafter might not get a fox. And... I think that the mob vote as a whole doesn't really add a lot to Minecraft. So, if we tie it up, we get all three. And if things go well, this could be the last mob vote. Who knows for sure? But at the time of this recording, today, uh, October 11th, I believe. Yes, October 11th of 2023. Mob vote is still going on. If you can, tie it. If nobody's voting, don't vote. <laughs> okay, let's try to change this because I'm tired of seeing the community in complete discourse. But anyways, I am going to leave now. I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, if you do like this kind of content, you know what to do. Like the video, subscribe. Once again, I am trying to get to 100, or not 100, sorry, 1,000 subscribers before I graduate high school, which is this year. So if you could help me out, that would mean the world to me. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll be seeing you guys next time.